Aloha, my little zombie dogs. Welcome to part 14 of the video series. Wait, that's not right, is it? Part 9, part 10, screw it, let's just stop counting. We're in the middle of making an amazing, absolutely amicable, awesome website. If you missed how to find and set up a web host, click here to get caught up. Otherwise, it's time to install the blogger's dream that is WordPress. The first step in making a website is to find a good hosting provider. In my last video I said I'd be using Triple Zero Web Host, but you can use whatever web host you want. The next step is to upload a content management system to our website to keep the content organized and easy to access. WordPress is the most popular, but Joomla and Drupal are good alternatives as well. I'll be using WordPress since it supports more themes and plugins. So the first thing you want to do is go to WordPress.org and download and unzip the latest version of WordPress to your computer. Next is to create an FTP connection to your web host. In your triple zero web host C panel, there's a section called View FTP Details. Clicking on this shows you your FTP connection information along with a couple of software clients. I chose FileZilla. And after downloading and installing it, you can click on the site manager and add the FTP information that you got from Triple Zero Web Host. Make sure the port is set to 21 and the logon type is set to normal. Then just click connect and after the, you have a connection, open up the public underscore HTML folder and then just drag and drop the contents of the WordPress folder that we unzipped into the website. Keep in mind that it's going to take a little while to upload everything. Then whenever it's through, just type in your website address and add forward slash WP admin forward slash install dot PHP. Click create configuration file, let's go, and then you'll come to this database page. What you want to do here is enter in the database information for your website. And you can find that in your cPanel under MySQL, SQL being the type of database that we'll be creating. Enter in a suffix for your database, a password for it, and then click create. This will take you to your information page, which is what you'll enter into your WordPress database fields. For security reasons, it's best not to leave the table prefix the same. So after WP underscore, just add a random string of characters and then click submit. Click run the install, enter in your website name, username, password, and email, and then click install. That's it. Now just log in and you'll enter the WordPress dashboard. This dashboard is the command center for your website. Here you can create pages, posts, moderate comments, change the appearance, add plugins, change the settings, and so on. But this isn't what your website looks like. To view that, just click on your website name at the top of the page. This will take you to your website homepage with the sample Hello World post. To edit or remove that post, simply go back to your dashboard and click on the Posts tab. This is where you can add, edit, and remove all posts for your blog. Let's try to create one. First, find something that you want to post and click Add New at the top. Give your post a name, then write out and format your text. If you look above the text bar, you'll see options to upload or insert multimedia. Let's select video and paste in a YouTube video. On the right hand side of the page, you can organize your post by selecting or creating a category to put it in and by giving it search tags so that people can find this post via search. When you're through, just publish it and go back to your home page to view the changes that you made. Similar to adding a post, you can also add pages to your website, such as an about or contact page. To create one, just select the pages tab and add a new one in the same way you added a new post. Now that you've got your basic WordPress site up and running, how can you make it look cooler? Well luckily, for WordPress it's extremely easy to change the theme to something more awesome. The tough part is just finding one that you like. Some good websites for free WordPress themes are MacPress.com and WebToField.com. If you want a good free video theme, you can check out the one here called Smashing Multimedia. 
What you want to do is download the theme that you like, it should be in a zip file, and go to your WordPress dashboard, click on appearance, and go to the install themes tab, and click on upload to upload the zip file that you just downloaded. It will automatically install the theme and allow you to update to it. Then just visit your homepage to view the changes. Be sure to read the documentation for your theme because it may require extra plugins or widgets in order for it to function correctly. Now if you can't get the zip file to upload correctly, there is an alternate method that you can use that requires FTP. So if you need that alternate method, just click here to watch the video. Now we have a website that's ready for some content and for some ads. So start adding some content and next week I'll show you how you can add some ads to your website and start earning money off of it.